we're going to have a special Oscar night edition of The Sweet Spot on Sunday night, right before the big show. The movies are insanely good this yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was, you know, I was going with a slightly more skeptical attitude, um, but uh, I kind oh, of surprised you're myself. Oh, a critic. That's, you know, mm. it's my job. Um, there was, I think, too many good movies for this, um, for this Oscar broadcast and this, uh, this award season even to, to contain. You see it across the board in, in, in some of the Best Picture nominees. You see yeah. a movie like Her. That's an extraordinary movie. That's a, <laughs> that's a very unusual and original movie. I think you can say the same thing about American Hustle, about 12 Years a Slave, about Nebraska, very personal vision in that movie. All of those movies are getting a lot of attention um, on, on Oscar night. Some of my favorite movies, we're not going to see anything about them. Uh, this year, Inside Lewin Davis, which was my my <laughs> single, the one that was closest to to my heart, got completely your power wiped out, totally yes. totally shut out, um, and uh, and some other ones too. Enough said. All, I thought that was terrific. Lost. All is lost. It's Francis Hobb, Before Midnight. Picking Oscar winners is a blood sport. You have to run it through like several algorithms. Do a little gut check. I, I'm serious. All right. I All have right. the record to back this up. You do. You've got the algorithms. One of the things I'm going to predict, a really good show. Not just the Oscars themselves, but maybe our little show, too. That could be. Well, we got some good movies. Plus so special guests in. from the newsroom. Plus yes, updates on the ballot. Yes, 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 yes. Enough about what you think. You need to hear what we think. <laughs>